प्यार की खुशबू तो होठो पर दुआ रखना दिलों में प्यार की खुशबू तो होठो पर दुआ रखना ईमा में वक्त से एक रिश्ता इश्को वफा रखना ईमा में वक्त से एक रिश्ता Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Bonjour. My dear viewers, welcome to Friday Sermon for Kids. My name is Isaac Fonseca and I'm joined in today's episode with Khaliq and Ramiz. Assalamu alaikum, guys. Wa alaikum assalam, Rabbi Sahib. Well, in today's Friday Sermon, our beloved Azur, Aydullah Tala bin Asaziz, mentioned many new points about the life of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he also drew our attention for prayers for the Palestinians. But before we go into that, let's listen to a clip from the Friday sermon. लगता है कि अब दुनिया अपनी तबाही को करीब तर लेके आ रही है, और इस तबाही के बाद जो लोग बचेंगे, उन्हें अल्लाह ताला अकल दे और वो खुदा ताला की तरफ तोजह पैदा करें उसकी तरफ लौट कर आएं। बारहाल हमें इस हवाले से बहुत दुआएं करनी चाहिए अल्लाह ताला दुनिया पर रहम फरमाए वेल एज ऑलवेज आई लर्न सो मेनी न्यू एंड इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग्स अबाउट द होली प्रॉफिट सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम बट आई लव टू लर्न फ्रॉम यू गाइस व्हाट यू लर्न फ्रॉम द फ्राइडे सर्मन मोर बिसाइड व्हाट आई लर्न फ्रॉम हुजूर मे अल्लाह बी हिज हेल्पर्स फ्राइडे सर्मन इज दैट हुजूर सेड ही हैज बीन ड्राइंग अटेंशन टुवर्ड्स द पीपल ऑफ पैलेस्टाइन Everyone should continue praying. Cruelties are passing all bounds now. Rabbi Sab, what my point is is that Hazur mentioned the capture of Farag bin Hayyan. Mm-hmm. Hazur said that he was traveling from Mecca to Iraq through the route of Najd, but then he was attacked by the army army of Hazrat Zaid bin Harith. When the Muslim forces attacked the disbelievers, many were captured, including him. This was the second time he was captured. When he was brought to Medina, he spoke to Hazrat Abu Bakr and said if he was let go free, he would not come near the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Hazrat Abu Bakr said if you become Muslim, then you will be freed. When Farag bin Hayyan heard this response, he went straight to the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and asked him to be freed. The Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam let him be free and let his faith up to Allah the Almighty. Mashallah, very good points you guys. Now it's time for us to listen to the kids all around the world and what they learn from the sermon. For that, let's go to kids take. I learned from the Friday sermon that Hazur said that we should continue praying for Palestine and the people from Gaza. Hazur said, there's a war coming, so pray. Assalamu alaikum. Brother Hazur told us that the Holy Prophet loved his grandchildren. Beloved Hazur has said that we should pray a lot um, since the war between Israel and Palestine our beloved huzur requested again special prayers for palestine huzur mentioned that hazrat muslim aud raziyala taala once said that all muslims must become united jazakallah for your excellent points it's always amazing listening to you guys so always remember to send us your new friday sermon points if you forgot there's always next week okay now let's discuss the sermon Yeah sure so uh, Hazur discussed at length about the execution of one Jew from Medina. Do you guys remember the name? Rabbi Sab, I think his name was Qab bin Ashraf. Right. Rabbi Sab, was it mentioned that he was the chief in Medina? Yes. Rabbi Sab, I have a question. Yes, what is it? What does execution mean? Yes, so execution is when someone is punished to death for an extreme crime like for instance if someone were to 
incite internal war in a country. And this is what Kaab bin Ashraf did. And he was creating lots of disorder in Medina for the Muslims. And it went to such an extent that the Holy Prophet وسلم, had to actually call for his execution. So Hazur explained that uh, even after the Jewish tribe Banu Kanuka was exiled from Medina, the remaining Jewish tribes, they didn't reform themselves. And Kaab bin Ashraf, he was one of those uh, influential leaders of the Jews who continued to create mischief for the Muslims. Now, uh, Kaab bin Ashraf was thinking that uh, Muslims' uh, fame wasn't going to last very long. But when the Muslims had the victory at the Battle of Badr, he became very jealous. And his opposition to the Muslims, it intensified. So what he did was, uh, being a poet, he wrote many things against the, the Muslims so that he would enrage the uh, Meccans and the disbelievers against the, the Muslims. He also uh, wrote poetry in blasphemy or bad things against uh, m Muslim women, and he spread that, this around. And also, he also plotted to assassinate the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And it was at this point that the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had to call for his execution. And um, when this happened, the Sahaba, they had um, told the Holy Prophet Sallallahu that it's better that we should do this in secret because if this happened openly, then there could be a civil war. So Hazur explained that after his execution, the Jews, they found out and they went to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and they inquired why he did this. And he explained to them, uh, do you know what the crimes were that he committed? Among so many things, cr like creating uh, unrest in the society, he was plotting to kill Muhammad Wasallam, the leader of Medina. And uh, their response was that uh, they were quiet. So it, sh it, it showed that they were in agreement to the action of the Holy Prophet Wasallam. And then afterwards, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he had to have another peace treaty with the Jews. Now before we go any further it's time for us to discuss the word of the sermon and the word of the sermon today is Palestine and for that Hanan he's going to explain it for us. Now over to you Hanan. Jazakallah Rabbi Sahib today's word is really important to world issues. Palestine is the name of a land in the Middle East that has existed for hundreds of years. Its original name in Arabic is pronounced as Palestine, and its inhabitants are called Palestinians. The reason why this word is so important is that even though Palestine is a free country, it has been invaded and taken over by another country called Israel that is currently waging war on a small part of Palestine called This is why Hazur, may Allah be his helper, has instructed us to pray for all the innocent Palestinians in this war and to always use our voices for peace. Back to you guys. Great job, Hanan. Jazakallah. Mabi Saab, what more were you going to say about the killing of Qab bin Ashraf? Yeah, so I was just going to mention that uh, history proves the fact that um, the crimes of Qab bin Ashraf were true. And the Jews, they also accepted at the time uh, what Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam uh, had done. But Hazur explained in great detail that this action of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was justified. And uh, one thing which I'll just uh, add, which Hazur said was that if someone were to commit the same crimes as of Kaab bin Ashraf today in a civilized society, that society would have the right to execute him. So this takes us to the next part of the program, which is the question of the sermon. So I'm going to ask a question, and then you're going to have uh, four choices, and then 10 seconds to answer the question, okay? So the question is related to the wife of the Holy Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Hazrat Hafsa Razila Tala Anha. Now, um, the question is, what was her father's name? Was it A, Hazrat Abu Bakr Anhu, or was it B, 
Hazrat Abu Hurair Razila Tala Anhu, or was it C, Hazrat Ali Razila Tala Anhu, or D, Hazrat Umar Razila Tala Anhu? Now you have 10 seconds. It starts now. So time's up. Mm, I think it's uh, D. Hazrat Umar Sanhu. Rabbi Saab, I also think it's D. Hazrat Umar. So the correct answer is D. Hazrat Umar Azila Tala Anhu. Congratulations, guys. Yes. Alhamdulillah. Now, you guys, Hazur also mentioned in the Friday sermon about Hazrat Hassan Razila Tala Anhu. Do you guys remember anything about that? Yes. It was mentioned that he looked a lot like the Holy Prophet in physical appearance. Yes, right. He was the son of Hazrat Ali Razantala Anho and Hazrat Fatima Razantala Anha. Yes, correct. Now, in the end of the Friday sermon, our beloved Azur Aydullah Tala bin Asraziz drew our attention for prayers for the Palestinians. Hazur said, you know, that in the name of fighting Hamas, there is the unjustified killing of so many children, women, and elderly. And do you guys remember anything which Hazur said about the importance of prayers for Palestinians? Yes, he said that even though the Saudi government is not allowing pilgrims to talk about the Palestinians, they should at least pray for them. Yes, right. In the end, Hazur said a very important thing, and I'd like to quote that. He said that it seems that the world is ushering in its destruction. May Allah grant wisdom to those who remain after this destruction and enable them to return towards God. In any case, we must pray a great deal in this regard. Now, just listening to what Hazur said in the end of his sermon, you know, it, it was such an important point that it made us realize how important it is for us to pray for the whole world. You know, and as he said before in uh, one of his sermons that we shouldn't get lazy when we are offering prayer, we should continue to do that, right? Yeah. Well, uh, this brings us to the end of the program, but before we end, we're going to do a review of what we learned from our discussion on today's Friday sermon. Did you enjoy this week's Friday sermon for kids? Want to know how you can make it even better? Tell us what you learned from Beloved Hazur's Friday Sermon and send your videos at fs4kids at mta.tv no later than every Sunday and we'll try our best to include them in our next show. Now we can't include all the videos you guys sent to us. So you guys can visit our Instagram and Twitter at MTA Canada and see all the videos you guys sent to us. Remember, at Friday Sermon for Kids, you're not just the audience, you make the show. Well, I learned that the world situation is becoming very violent and we should put our attention towards prayers. I learned that the Holy Prophet ﷺ was a just ruler and cared for the peace of society. Yeah, and what we learned was that if the world leaders were to follow the example of the Holy Prophet ﷺ, it would solve a lot of the world's problems. And remember guys, to always watch Hazur's full khutbah. Until next time from Montreal. Khuda <laughs> एक रिश्ता है इश्क वफा रखना दिलों में प्यार की खुशबू तो होठों पर दुआ रखना इमाम में वक्त से एक रिश्ता है इश्क वफा रखना इमाम में वक्त से एक रिश्ता है इश्क वफा रखना